Hi there, right, here we have Brass uh, Deluxe Edition. The brother-in-law bought this, I'm going to wait for the Roxley Games Edition. But this is uh, Eagle Griffin Games Edition of Brass. Now this is a heavy box, so much so, if we put it on the scales here, it comes in, it weighs in I should say, at £4, 10.5 ounces. That's like... 2.11 kilograms wow some weight in that small box and if we look at the uh yeah so if we look at the box just to give you an idea there's one of the standard size oblong boxes like snowdonia drum roll for instance and this is the excellent twa so if we look it's the same in height slightly less on the width and the depth of it is quite considerably smaller. Bearing in mind that this, uh, where the, the, box, the box cover is not pushed down, it will be once the punch boards are out, won't it? So it'll fit nice and flat. So, and looking at a standard size box, like an FFG size, so you see, it's a nice, small, compact box. Yeah. So without further ado, let's break open this baby. Right. So, I think it's 2007, this game uh, was first produced. Um, it's widely regarded right up there. Some say it's Martin Wallace's best game. Others say it's his second best game. But it's, it almost goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, Age of Steam, which we have a... we Not that long ago, got a first edition copy of that. We played quite a bit of that over Christmas. Excellent game. Right, let's have a look at brass. So we've got a rule book here. This is the deluxe edition. Really thick quality pages. And there we go. So 10 pages long because now we're on to, is that French? I think that's French there at the back. Yeah. Uh, so there's the rule book. The punch board sheets, very thick quality. Eagle Griffin, to be fair, um, the gallerist, amazing quality on that game. Um, they really are making some good quality games. So this is, uh, it's nice to see pounds and pence. This is set in Lancashire, England, which is just up the road from us. We're in the northwest England, Cheshire. And Lancashire is just, uh, well, we've got, we got family in Blackpool, Lancashire, which is uh, only an hour away. So there we go, that's the punch boards. Now the original game of Brass was for three or four players only, which is quite restrictive, isn't it? But on the back of this board is the two-player map version. So we can play now two, three or four players. This is a nice touch. Straight away, there's a little... Uh, finger groove there that you can flick open the game board and then just like the gallerist we've got a nice tray with a cover so then punch boards are all going to fit into the into these uh, into the tray here take off the nice plastic cover that is a really nice touch we've got the deck of cards here Some super metal coins that's where a lot of the waiters come from they look really good quality we'll cook, deal with them in a second and we've got the, the cube, the orange and black cubes, and some cylinders and discs. Right, let's have a look at this game board, dual sided. It is nice that something like this large, heavy, meaty game is in such a small, compact box. It's a nice, refreshing change. Right. Big board here. There we go. So that is one side of the game board. Uh, right, we are right now sat filming this very close to Ellesmere Port near Chester. We're in Elton. Um, so we're actually round about just here where my where my finger is. I would guess, are we? We've got Northwich here. Yeah, round about this area anyway. We're right next to Ellesmere Port. We get to Ellesmere Port in 10 minutes. Yeah. And we've got Liverpool here. 
and Blackpool is one hour away. We've got Fleetwood, yeah. There you go, very good. So that's one side of the game board. And here's the other side here. And this is the two player side. Really nice game board. Lays nice and flat. Perfect, goes to a nice compact size. Very good indeed. Let's have a look at these coins. Super heavy. They're nice and thick. Now when you get game coins, usually, they're pretty thin, but look at the thickness of these. Nice, thick, chunky coins. I really do like them, the one coins, probably better than the five. The five, the five are very shiny and, and you know silvery, but these have got a good heft to them. So these little uh, value one coins and value five coins. Let's look at them in more detail. So there we've got the one. Same on both sides. And we got the five. Excellent quality. Move them to one side. I don't think we need to look at these cubes. We've got the cubes and the discs and the cylinders like we said. Right, let's have a look at these cards. I'm just get into here somehow. Get my little uh, alpha knife I think. There we go. And Brass, for my sins, is not a game I've ever played. We've played many, many games now, but Brass is not one I've played. Uh, I was talking to somebody playing Twilight Struggle at last weekend, a uh, gaming friend, and uh, he's played he's played Brass a few times, and we've got a game earmarked. So uh, we shall be playing it very soon. So here's the cards. Good fit quality. Linen finish, absolutely no no need whatsoever to, to sleeve these. Nice artwork. And the cotton mill there. There we go. That is Br Brass. Uh, deluxe edition. Large game, small box, very heavy. Um, in both weight and game weight as well, playing it. So, uh, yeah, Brass Deluxe Edition. Thanks for watching.